Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the science of weight loss, okay? Because a lot of people are easily distracted by the fads out there, by all these things that are just really taking the one thing, the one principle in weight loss that is proven, the one scientific principle that is proven, and they're manipulating it in a way, packaging it up and selling it to you, and like I say, distracting you from the actual science of what works. Okay. So we don't, I want you to know this because I don't want you to dilute and think that there is some sort of secret shortcut out there. That's going to get you to where you need to be. At the end of the day, it is a lifestyle change. Okay. We're not looking for fad diets. I don't, I don't even like that word diet because the word diet, it, it gives a, a, a false sense of hope almost that once I'm done my three months or once I'm done my three year transformation that I can return back because it's a diet, right? I can return back to the way things were before. It's all about lifestyle change. Okay. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is the science behind weight loss. What works? Okay. There's one principle that will never change. This is the thermogenics, the, the use of energy, the understanding of the calorie and how the human body works. Okay. So Calories in, calories out. It simply means that you need to be burning more calories than you are consuming, okay? That is the only principle you need to know when it comes to weight loss. There is a formula that you use to calculate that. I've provided you guys with that formula in my weight loss cheat sheet, okay? The link is going to be in the bio on this site. It's a blog on my website at Matt Lancetal Fitness, okay? So you can check that out. Things like keto, intermittent fasting, Cal carb cycling, all of these things. I'm not knocking these things. Okay. At all, because they are just simply a vessel that this principle of calories in calories out is carrying that vessel and carrying it forward saying, don't consume carbs. Don't consume food between this time and this time. It's just a little, it's a, it's a nicely packaged way of saying consume less calories than you're burning. Right? So, but what ends up happening is people make this mistake on this journey when it comes to, for example, something like keto, they think that because they've cut carbs out, that they can eat whatever they want of fats and proteins. Okay, that is not true because when if you're over consuming, you're over consuming. It doesn't matter if you're over consuming on fats, proteins, carbs, your body doesn't understand the difference. Your body just understands that it's getting more energy than it needs and it's going to store it as fat. Okay, intermittent fasting is the same thing. If you don't eat until 3 p.m. and you're only eating from 3 p.m. till 8 p.m., it's, it's a five-hour window. Well, I'll tell you what, I can sure as hell eat more than my calories in a five-hour window, right? So you're, you're lowering the incidence of these things occurring, the chances of it occurring, but you're not actually eliminating it. So you need to be really careful on this process that you're actually following the, the, the tradition, the principle, what works, what's proven in science to make sure that you're getting towards your weight loss goal, okay? This is going to be really important information for you to have. Okay, so whether you're doing keto, intermittent fasting, carb cycling, whatever, make sure that you know what calories you're consuming. Uh, it's going to be really important. So I highly recommend doing a flexible eating approach if you're going to um, be doing this. If you're doing keto, whatever, doesn't matter. Get yourself on MyFitnessPal or some sort of calorie tracking app and make sure you know exactly how much food you're consuming because there's only one way to get the weight off your body and make sure that it stays off. That's going to be to make sure you're tracking your calories. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Have a beautiful day guys. Bye.